the Philadelphia Eagles. They're in a, they're in an experimenting stage. Mm-hmm. They just benched Carson Wentz. Jalen Hurts started against the Saints, and he just got the nod to start again against the Cardinals this upcoming week. And I think everybody in Philly, people are split on this position. Some of them love Hurts. They want Wentz out. Some of them still want to give Wentz a chance. And the question is, is Jalen Hurts the future of the Philadelphia Eagles? Is he the future quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles? I'm going to say it's too early to tell, man. Because what are people going to say next week if he comes out and does horrible? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just too early to tell. One game looked great. I'm not going to lie. It looked great. Making good throws. If you watched him at Oklahoma... I'm pretty sure he went to yeah, Oklahoma. Um, he was doing a lot of what he did there yesterday. Run, running when he has to. Uh, you know, keeping his poise in the pocket. Making good, strong throws. And I feel like they they opened up their playbook a little more, allowing him to do that. But what I think opened up their playbook, which allowed him to have success through the air, was their run game. Miles Sanders had a great game running the ball. Mm-hmm. So I feel like them running the ball – Puts, you know, compacts the Saints defense more in the box, putting more guys rushing him, and that kind of gave him more of a chance to kind of sit in the pocket a little bit, get it to Rager, get it to his playmakers. And, you know, that one, I think he had one touchdown throw. Yeah, to Alshon Jeffries, yeah. like a back shoulder throw. That, that was a great throw. Like, for him to be in his first game against a defense like that and make a throw, so, you know, you're no, that, I would say that's their number one guy. So that should be their number one guy. It should he, be, yeah. If he was healthy. So I feel like for him to find him and make that was a great throw. You know, not there's quarterbacks who've been playing in the league who can't make that throw. Like I don't even think Daniel Jones can make that throw. Daniel Jones can make that throw. Not consistently. Yeah. He, yeah he, well, Jalen Hurts only did it once. That's what I'm saying. So it's too early to tell. You the thing really, with I me, I, I feel like I I personally don't have an opinion on him. Like I think. I think it's not too early to tell, and this is my answer. Jalen Hurts will be the future of the Philadelphia Eagles at quarterback. Not because he's better than Carson Wentz, but because that team and that organization has given up on Carson Wentz. Isn't he making like 100 mil? Yes. So now you got a $100 million player on your bench. This is the thing with that is that they messed up paying him. He's a great quarterback, and I think he has potential to, to get out of this slump. But the thing about it is that when Nick Foles led that team to the Super Bowl, now you have a new leader in town. Now you ship Nick Foles out. Carson Wentz get, gets paid. Carson Wentz now has to prove himself and prove that he's a leader and prove himself once again that he's a great quarterback. And even though he's been playing well, I don't think Carson Wentz is a leader. He's not a guy that rallies the troops. He doesn't have a Dak Prescott-like personality, and that's okay. But... Carson Wentz has been playing with this monkey on his back this entire time of trying to prove himself, which is why he goes and tries to play hero football and makes tight window throws that are bad reads and get intercepted because he's trying to prove himself. And it showed even more this season. Last season, what what is a constant theme of the season before? You didn't have Nick Foles there. So you were able to do your thing. You didn't, you didn't feel too much pressure. Now Jalen Hurts is there. You feel like you got to play above and beyond to keep your spot. Mm-hmm. And that's what he's been doing. And that's and it's costing because that's not the type of guy that he should be. That's not how he should be playing. Like he's playing hero ball. Exactly. He shouldn't be playing like that. I think this organization has failed him because the play calling has been abysmal for him this, this season. And the drafting is horrible. Mm-hmm. The drafting is horrible. The team itself has pretty much given up on him. And I think it's just a perfect storm that's leading to Jalen Hurts ultimately taking that franchise quarterback spot. But Jalen Hurts, I think, you know, he's a he's a I think he could he's a, a good quarterback. He's an okay quarterback. But I'm not a big fan of rushing quarterbacks. I'm just not. That's just me. I think they either want to get hurt or they get figured out by the league. They won against the Saints, yes. But I mean, damn, earlier in the game, Taysom Hill throws an interception. That was, yeah, that was, and that was because Kamara dropped the ball. He didn't catch yeah, that it. Was horrible. It put the Eagles in perfect field goal and perfect field position. They hit a field goal, and then actually they scored. They scored a touchdown off this possession. Off I'm pretty the first, sure on the first drive. I'm pretty sure. 
Like, I don't. Second, um, it was in the second of that, quarter. Though, off of that, they scored. Yeah, it was six fifty seven in the second quarter. I'm not sure if they. It was a field goal or a touchdown, but they scored nonetheless. Then in the second quarter, when the Eagles are up 10 10 0, the Eagles, they have the ball at the 18 yard line. Miles Sanders goes for an 82 yard run. Was that Jalen Hurts or was that just Miles Sanders going for an 82 it, yard run? Yeah, exactly. They are he, up 17 0. He didn't the ball off. He didn't really. Exactly. Get <laughs> and then. Well, just, how, much, how much did he throw for? He threw 167 yards, 57% completion percentage, one touchdown, and 106 yards rushing off 18 carries. 106 yards rushing. Off 18 carries. So, you know, he's the second quarterback. These are the second most rushing yards by a quarterback in their first start outside of Lamar Jackson. And because of that stat now, he's getting compared or whatever. Yeah. But 14-12 left in the fourth quarter. Jalen Hurts should have had an interception. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, he read the route, he jumped it, and he just dropped it. And it was... I don't think it would have been a pick six, but he would have got a big return off that play. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, the entire game, the Eagles defense was just putting the Eagles in great field position to make plays. Yeah. And that's really what it was. So people want to talk about Hurts. Oh, he was way better than Wentz. No, I mean, this this team, did it come alive? Did it have a spark under Hurts? Yes, it did. It had a spark. There was a different life. There was a different energy. And that's fine. But don't tell me that if Carson Wentz would have had that same defensive performance and field position and Miles Sanders would have had an 82-yard run that they would have not beat the Saints. I thought this game was mostly a team finally figuring out Taysom Hill and what the Saints are trying to do on offense with him. Then it was Jalen Hurts having a great performance. Yeah, like I don't think Carson Wentz wins the game, though. You don't think so? I think you if they're up seventeen zero, I think I mean, they win. I mean, weren't they up seventeen zero in Washington and lost? <laughs> Probably, yeah. I don't know. I forgot. That, that was, was week a, one. That was that yeah, week one. You know, like like, and he he blew that lead, and he looks pretty good in that game. So it's always it's just crazy to me that Eagles always play better when he's not playing quarterback. I don't get it. Like that Super Bowl run, he gets out. Like you know, I guess like you could say that year was like. The, the year he looked the best, and then he gets injured, and then Nick Foles comes in, and out of nowhere they start looking great, and they go on to beat Tom Brady and the Patriots. So it's like, you know, is it is it, I think it's just time for him to go. I think he just needs to mm-hmm. change the scenery. Like, I think Doug Peterson has failed him, like you said. I think the organization has failed him. I've never been a fan of him, to be honest. So I don't really have, like, much of an opinion on him. But I do think that, like, he could go to another team and and thrive. Like he he's a smart football player. Like he has the IQ. He's got the arm power. It's just can he stay healthy enough and like play the football that he knows he could play? Cause like now you're a guy who gets injured, and now you got this young guy who's sitting there behind you. You know that going out every time. And then like, you know, he's taking crazy hits, he's running the ball, like He's doing everything for his team, and like you got to commend him on that. And that's the thing is that Jalen Hurts can do that, yeah, because exactly. he's a running quarterback. He's a rookie, but in reality, you don't want your quarterback doing that. And no, no team that's invested that much into their quarterback Wants has their that. quarterback doing that. Exactly, Jalen Hurts. After all those injuries. Jalen Hurts right now for the Eagles, they're paying him pennies on a dollar. Yeah, they're not paying yeah, him nothing. nothing. So they're like, oh, if he gets hurt, who cares? It's not much of an investment, even though they want, they want him to him. be the quarterback. Yeah. But for Carson Wentz, is like, if he we gets hurt. invested in you, yeah. and you've gotten hurt time and mm-hmm. time again. If he gets hurt, that's a lot of money down the drain for them. Now he's playing horrible. Like, he's looking bad. But you, you you were right. You know, it's time for them to move on. The situations. It's just. It's just time. Sometimes situations aren't a fit for you. Exactly. Like, and Sam Darnold, not for a fit. For the Jets, he's exactly. Fit, exactly. Man. I think that somewhere else he will be good. Just not the Jets. I feel like. You could put him on the Steelers, he would be good. I think the 49ers, he would be good. Um, what other team? Like, I forgot who else I, w- I had in mind, but like, I think Sam Darnold could, you know, thrive somewhere. Now, Wentz is kind of up in the air. Can he go somewhere and thrive? Can he stay healthy and can he play the football that people have seen him play in 2016? I'm banking on yes. That's what I'm banking on. I'm banking Players on Players like yes. him succeed in the NFL. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it, he's had success. He's had success, but it's 
the best available, like your the best ability in the NFL, or and not even in, in the NFL in sports, the best ability is availability. Can you be there for your team? You could you could have um, Tom Brady like talent, but if you're getting injured every game and not playing, what does that do for you? Mm. And for him, I feel like his team sees that you've let us down in a way. In a way, like getting injured isn't his fault, but in a way, like you know, we invest our time. We practice around you. We game plan for you. And now, you know, you're not there in the biggest moments that we need you there. So how do you want us to give your all for you when, you ain't, when you're when you kind of not giving your all to us? You know, and it sucks because he gets injured. How can you blame someone for getting injured? But when you're not there for the team, well, what could they do? You know, at yeah, that exactly. point, at that point, it becomes a business. You know, what could we How You're not helping us. So how are we going to help you? You know, we helped you. We gave you this contract. And now. You know, you're, you're you look you look bad. You look horrible. Yeah, and I, <laughs> for me, I just think quarter. This is his first bad season. I'm gonna let him slide, and I think it's time for him to go to a different situation because I feel like the Eagles have else, failed him, and I think the locker room has lost him as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. like they don't they don't they are not. If you're not invested in your guy, the whole team is at you know like mm-hmm. a like a disbelief sort of yeah. thing, and. Like, going back to the Jets, I feel like Sam Darnold does what he can to keep his guys together to try to play and win. 